received the sweetest gift today in the mail from Barbara. Thank you so much, Barbara, from New York. She sent me this personalized fall towel, and it's perfect because it has all of the colors that we have in the house right now. And this is the Bruners, and when we um, were married, 11, 2019. Thank you so much, Barbara. This was extremely thoughtful, and I love it so much. She sent a sweet note, too. And then my mom found this adorable little ghost mug. How stinking cute is this, you guys? It's like a little espresso mug. He's super tiny. Oh, look how stinking cute he is. I can't take it. Adorable. So he's gonna go in my little tiered tray, I'm sure, for Halloween. So I'm about to start brunch, and I'm using this air fryer for the first time, the Alpha Elite air fryer oven. And they did send this to me for review purposes, but seriously, it's so cool. So it has a really big barrel, so you can fit a lot more than my other air fryer. And this comes out so you can clean it easily. So I'm doing the Max Crisp, because that's supposed to be the best for fries. And they do have a whole manual that goes over like what setting you should use, but there's a couple of different settings. So you pick your setting, then here is where you adjust the time, and then here is where you adjust the heat. Mine is going to be for 360, and then you press start. Oh my gosh, you can see in the window there. Isn't that so cool? So I'm also gonna be making some scrambled eggs and making some flour tortillas. The tots came out absolutely perfect. We are definitely continuing to use that air fryer from now on. exhibit that I was telling you about last week and I curled my hair like just a little bit more to try to give it a little bit more volume and I have these big hands on tonight. I don't remember where they're from. I got them a while ago. I think it was at the boutique that I went to with Tika and all of them when we were in Dallas. And then I have this dress on. It's really long. Um, it's really comfortable and it's from Amazon. I just have like this little bag. But yeah, it should be really cool. I'm going to try to vlog as much as possible so you guys can experience it too. This in the car, of course, but he's driving, looking all suave. <laughs>
I am going to go into detail about how much we enjoyed the Van Gogh exhibit a little bit deeper into the vlog, but we did end up going to this really nice Spanish restaurant nearby the exhibit, and it actually tasted just like how my mom and grandma cooks at home, so we really enjoyed it. We had some paella and some tapas, we had some like shrimp and um, a bunch of different yummy things. It was absolutely delicious and my brother actually filmed these food clips. Hey you guys, so I just wanted to pop on here to give you a little update about my iRestore device that I've been using. If you guys didn't see my original talk through about how I started doing laser cap treatment therapy for my hair growth, then I will leave that link down below so you can catch that. And I'm actually going to insert some before and not really after because I'm not really finished doing the treatments yet, but I just wanted to give you like a little recap of how everything's going for me and then show you some pictures of my most recent progress, I guess I could say. Um, I have definitely seen a lot of growth in my center part and today I'm wearing my hair up, but I'm going to insert pictures so you guys can really see the progress. I'm really happy with how much is growing um, within the center part because that's where I was really concerned. I was losing the most hair and I see a big difference already. So that's really good. And then I have only been doing the treatments about three times a week and it's pretty quick. The treatments, it's, I just watch like an episode of something um, or I do some things around the house since I do have the wireless capability with, with I, which I think is one of the, the coolest parts about this is I don't, don't have to sit there plugged into the wall and you know sit there reading or something for the treatment. I can really be moving around doing stuff while I have that on. So I've still been loving that. And I do still take the vitamins. So I was taking the gummy vitamins for the last like four months, I believe. And I just recently started taking the physical, um, just regular, I don't want to say tablets, but just pill, the pill form, not the gummy. And I don't see a huge difference between either. I think they're both good. Um, I prefer the gummies because they're just more fun to, to take every morning. But I am taking the pill form as well now and started using their shampoo and conditioner more. But I do really think the magic worker is the laser caps. But of course, if you're like doing more like the vitamins and the hair products, um, of course, that's just going to advance and work even better for you. And I do feel like the combination has really been the reason why my hair is growing back so much. So I'm definitely going to keep on doing it. Um, I don't think I'll ever stop doing it because I think it's really good to just continuously promote that stimulation in my scalp so that I don't end up re like resorting back to hair loss. Um, I do still have some hair in my shower. Um, I only wash my hair twice a week. So every time I wash my hair, I do still have hair collect in the, in the drain. It's not as much as it used to be. However, um, I have noticed it lessening, but I, it still does concern me that I'm losing so much hair. So I just keep an eye on that. Um, I have noticed that my hair's grown quite a bit though in the last couple months. So I do think that that has to do with the laser cap therapy too. I don't have any makeup on because it's the time of day where I do my treatments. It's so easy. I just walk around with my little device that I've already previously charged so I can do whatever I need to do throughout the day while I'm doing my treatments. Just press the power button and I'm gonna start my treatments. As you can see, the lights start to come on. I'm gonna make sure I have it positioned correctly. But you have so many lasers inside the cap that are gonna give coverage everywhere could tell, could tell but i don't have any of my normal like spray product in my hair you can see a little bit here is still a little sparse on like the ends here but it's growing in and this is like the first thing that has actually had results for me to help with my hair loss i've tried different like different hair washes like shampoos and conditions conditioners um, like from Ulta and just all these high-end brands that I've tried and I tried different vitamins as you guys have been seeing me try um, but this is the first time I've actually seen decent progress for the better for my hair loss so I'm gonna keep doing it I'll keep giving you updates every couple months um, they did send me the hair cap for review purposes but I wouldn't continue to talk about it if I didn't believe in it um, so I'm gonna 
continue using it. And if you guys have tried it out or you're thinking about trying out, tell me down below. If you have any questions about it, feel free to, to ask me down below and I will try to get to them as soon as possible. But I just wanted to give you a quick recap. Hey guys, this is the first day I'm styling my hair um, with the new haircut. It's like so short, so short, but I do really like it. Okay guys, so here are my candles, all three sizes. And then I thought I'd do a little centerpiece. I actually got this little, I guess you could call it a pitcher, uh, at the dollar spot at Target for $5. Then just put some spray flowers, whatever you like. And of course my little scarecrow. Got him at Hobby Lobby for two bucks. So, and then I changed my uh, napkin holders because I didn't like the leaves as much and I got these from Hobby Lobby so they're like little pumpkins so they're really really cute hope you enjoy bye now look at my fun nails I just got done for Halloween time since we're gonna be leaving for Disney let me show you this side because I think the ghost is even cuter on this side how fun are those I do something fun since we're gonna be going to um, Disney next week So I just got a box from Pitos and I agreed to try out their snacks because they are a healthier alternative to our favorite snacks like Doritos and Cheetos. Um, and it's made with peas. Pitos, as you can see, junk food taste made from peas. So it looks like they gave me some classic like onion ring ones, some crunchy curls and cheese and fiery hot. Then we've got um, spicy nacho, regular nacho, and then a huge bag of the Zesty Ranch. Oh, goodness. I'm bummed because the kids were actually supposed to come this weekend, but unfortunately, Lexi's not feeling well. Um, and since Gavin's in, in close proximity to her, they are holding off on seeing us until we come back from our trip. But I think that this would be really fun to try out with the kids once they're here. Also, oh, I missed this one. Fiery Onion as well is in here. So I will be trying these out very soon. It won't be on this vlog. I'll probably be doing some kind of Try It Tuesday with some like healthy alternative snacks like this. Um, so be on the lookout. But I just wanted to show you guys because I think this is pretty genius of them and let's see the calories too really good calorie content too not too high in sugar some fiber in there too i'm considering that these are chips 12 grams of carbohydrates not that bad either all right holly's like ready for some playtime, huh right babies you ready to play with mama <laughs> so i'm getting ready for date night right now uh, obviously low-key date nights to have all this Halloween stuff on. I got my basic witch shirt on, my comfy jeans that I got last week from Walmart that like I can't stop wearing. And then I got my sparkly fun Halloween nails with my little ghosts. You can see it a little bit better in, in this lighting. Can you see his little face? There he is. So fun. I love them so much. And I forgot to tell you guys my thoughts on the Van Gogh exhibit. Um, it was so different. So it was like nothing I've ever been to before. When I first walked in, they had like a display that was specific for like the Scottsdale area, which I took, we took some pictures in front of. And then you walk through this hallway, this really cool little, I can't even explain it. You guys will see on the video. And then once you actually get to the room, it's floor to ceiling projections or like, um, videos, uh, that they've put together of Van Gogh's art. And it's just so different and unique. Like, I can't explain it. It's almost like you're jumping into his paintings. Like, you're a part of his paintings. And they just kind of seamlessly transition to um, different different paintings. That's really cool, though. It was different, though. I did get, like, a slight amount of motion sickness because of how realistic it feels. Like, how it's all surrounding you. And you're just, like, sitting there and watching it. And there were different rooms. And we didn't know that the first room was probably the least cool because we went into this other room where the imagery was on the floor even. Um, and it was an even bigger room. So we went over there to see it kind of start over again because obviously it, it like goes and then it starts over. So you can be there for as long as you want watching the exhibit. Um, it was very like relaxing. The music was really nice that they put with it. 
Um, it was definitely different. I really want to see his actual work someday at like um, an art exhibit or at a museum, obviously more of like a museum. Um, I've never been to the Louvre or any like of the big museums in New York um, for that matter. So someday I would really love that. And my whole family was there, plus Haley Bryan's girlfriend, some of her family was there too. So it was like just a really fun experience to have all together. So I'm getting all of my new and old stuff for Halloween out right now because I'm going to start decorating. I already, you can see the cabinet over there is almost completely empty. Taking down all the stuff over there and I have some Halloween over there too that I'll share with you in a moment. Um, the new stuff that I can spot right now is this little tiny cappuccino mug from Target that's a little ghost. This little ghost that I got from Ivy and Sage that I showed you guys. This little lantern dude, he was from the 99 cents and more store. I showed you guys that I'm gonna be found these at the dollar spot, the jars, the gumball machine jars. And then I have this little sign from, I think this was from Ivy and Sage, yeah. And then this is from Target, and then also this is from Target. And this is from the 99 cent store. I'm going to fill it with candy. Anyways, I'm about to watch Hocus Pocus for the first time this season. And those boxes are all for fall and Halloween. I'm starting to put some of the fall away first. So I'm so excited to unbox this with you guys. This is the Deco Created Add-On Box for Halloween. So you do have to be um, subscribed to Deco Created. They're seasonal boxes to get any of the add-ons. And I highly suggest it because there's going to be a Christmas add-on and there's actually a pre-order for that already. I do get a discount, so I'll put a code right here for you guys. But I'm, as you guys know, I'm decorating for Halloween right now, so I want to dig into this and see what they have for the Halloween add-on box. So it comes with a little pamphlet. Celebrate Halloween. Oh, it looks like the color palette is traditional. And I believe these are all the key pieces that are in the box. Oh my goodness, okay, I don't want to look too deep in here yet. Um, cause they do give you like ideas on how to decorate with the items and all the extra goodies they have on the website as well. So there's also this little postcard that you can put in a frame that says happy Halloween. And then on the other side, it has this cool cat silhouette that says trick or treat. I definitely think I'm going to use this side. I really love that. Next we have this here. I think this is a, either a mat or a pillowcase. Oh, it's really nice pillowcase actually. And it's double-sided, has this nice kind of orange tweed fabric on the back and then a spider web pattern on the front of the pillow. Let me get a little zoomed out here so you can see the size a little bit better. Very cool. Not sure where I'm putting that quite yet, but I do love spider patterns and um, items for my Halloween decor. So I know I will use that. So to make sure everything's nice and cushioned, some of the boxes will be like this, where it just says empty and there's nothing in it. So you just push that to the side. And it looks like I have a couple more boxes to open. All right, so I just opened another one here. How cool is this sign? Enter if you dare. And it's metal on the front and then wood piece kind of outlining it. This is so cool. I can't wait to use this. My goodness how cute is this metal haunted house i love the little coffin cutouts for the door areas and the bat details and the windows are kind of fun and kooky like kind of like they remind me of like adam's family house how cute is that and i love using little houses in my decor since i have more of a farmhouse decor cute all right we got two more
a little owl dish. You could put candy in this, you can put a little potpourri. There's many different things you can do with this. And this will be really cute in the tiered tray. I believe I'm gonna use it in my tiered tray. So I'll show you guys once I use it, but it's a really nice ceramic piece. Cute details to that. Wow, look at this cool piece, trick or treat with bats. And I am doing bats in my decor again for Halloween this year. Well, I will definitely be showcasing these soon on my Instagram and here on the vlog. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the cute pieces that I received in my add on Halloween box because I think these pieces are worth it. They're really nice, sturdy pieces that I'm going to use in my decor for a very long time. And it's fun to get something new and different um, that you wouldn't get at a traditional store right now. So I came to Walmart to find another skeleton and I accomplished at least that. There was only one left. I got a few other things that I'm going to be using for cupcakes, but I wanted to share these cute things with you guys because they're only 98 cents. So while I was at Walmart, I found these pretzels, these Halloween pretzel little miniature bags. They are so cute. Look at this. And they have little bat shapes and little pumpkin shapes. And I brought this bowl over here because I'm going to be doing a display of little snacks for Halloween. But I have my Halloween bowl with ghosts. And I put these inside there. I just think they're so cute. 